Hello, dear students. Let's see this question of Herodo, question number 3.3. .3. The question states, two small equally charged spheres, each of mass M are suspended from the same point by silk threads of length L. The distance between the sphere X is uh, much, much smaller than the length of the thread L. Find the rate dq by dt by which the charge leaks off each sphere if their approach velocity varies as v is equal to a by root x where a is a constant. So uh, let me draw the diagram of this question and the diagram is here. So this is a given diagram. These two are the silk threads suspended from a fixed support and these are the two uh, charges, each charge having charge q and mass m. Now, uh, at this moment, suppose they are in equilibrium. So at the position of equilibrium, let me draw the FBD of either charge. On this charge, uh, there will be its weight, mg. And uh, a tension on the string, T. And obviously, uh, electrostatic repulsion between the charges and the electrostatic repulsion on this charge is suppose this charge is Fe. If it is an equilibrium, so resultant of Mg and uh, Fe must be equal and opposite to the tension so that the net force is zero. So the resultant uh, will be just opposite to tension. And if I can draw a better diagram, so that will look like this. So uh, this uh, white dotted line is just opposite to tension. And suppose uh, uh, this string makes an angle theta with a vertical. So obviously, uh, this angle is theta. So from here, uh, I can write 10 theta is equal to Fe by mg or Fe is equal to mg 10 theta. Now what happens? By some way, the charge gets leaked. So as the charge is leaking off the spheres, though the electrostatic repulsion gets weak, so they will come closer, 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 closer. And as they come closer, so what will happen? Uh, uh, they will obviously approach and the approach velocity is given. So uh, one more thing is given that this X is uh, much, much smaller than L and what that means that theta is uh, very small and if theta is very small, so I can approximate 10 theta to be uh, sine theta. So that will be mg sine theta. And at this moment, I can write the value of the electrostatic repulsion and that would be 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught product of charges q square divided by distance square x square. And from here, mg sine theta. Sine theta is this length is x, so this length is x by 2 and this is also sine theta is x by 2 L. So x by 2 L. So I can write Q square is equal to uh, this two will go there. So two pi epsilon naught mg by L. And uh, what else I'll get? And the other thing would be X cube. So uh, I can write uh, Q is equal to square root of that thing. So this will come in the square root of sine and that will come obviously three by two. So uh, the rate of leaking of charge is actually minus dq by dt and it's written in the question dq by dt, but if I write with the sign that will be minus dq by dt. And the velocity of approach is the rate at which the separation between them uh, decreases. So velocity of approach, v approach, is actually minus dx by dt. And that velocity of approach is given in the question at uh, function of x is a by root x. So I am differentiating this with respect to time. So what I'll get dq by dt. And this whole thing is a constant. So 2 pi epsilon naught mg by L. 
and this would give me 3 by 2 uh, x power 1 by 2. And uh, here, yeah, and obviously dx by dt. So if I put minus sign here, so uh, minus sign also will come here. And this minus dx by dt is a by root x. So finally, I'll get uh, rate of leaking of charge, the rate at which charge decreases minus dq by dt is square root of 2 pi epsilon naught mg by L. Let me bring this 3 by 2 here. And this is root x. So uh, root x and minus dx by dt is a by root x. So this, this will get cancelled. So this whole thing will just remain with x a. So I can write it. That is equal to 3 by 2 a into that whole thing. And that's my uh, rate of leaking of charge. And this comes out to be a constant. Thank you.